Hey guys, it's Nathan at Duck River Honey here. It is January 10th, 2021, and it is cold here in Middle Tennessee. Um, there is snow on the ground. It's been there almost three days. It'll be three days tomorrow. And uh, there's an old saying around here. I live in a very rural area and there's a lot of old farmers and country folk. And uh, there's a saying that if snow stays on the ground three days, it's waiting on another one. Well. There may be some wisdom in that because uh, we've got a forecast with a chance of snow for tomorrow and tomorrow will be the third day. Um, just think that's kind of funny. Maybe those old timers know what they're talking about. Snow stays on the ground three days, it's waiting on another one. Um, today I'm trying to get ahead on some of my bee work. January 10th, um, February is going to start my busy season. And I've got a lot of supers that need to be put together and painted. I have to wait until I've got the right weather, the temperatures to paint. Um, so I need to get all of these assembled. And then when I start painting, I just want to do everything I can all in one go. That way I can just throw away the rollers and brushes and stuff when I get done and not have to worry too much about it. We're going to get to it. Guys, if you like the video, then I'd really appreciate you giving it a thumbs up. That helps get my channel out to other people looking for bee videos and uh, helps me out quite a bit. So it helps me out more than you would expect. So I'd really appreciate you doing that if you would. And while you're at it, if you want to follow along, see how I'm trying to grow my operation into a profitable hobby operation, um, growing from I've got about nine hives now. I'm trying to get to about 30 in the next year and make a honey crop. So this will be an ongoing series all year long. If you subscribe and hit the notification bell, you'll get uh, notifications when I post new videos. I'd appreciate you doing that. You can follow along with me. You know, I stay pretty pressed for time and it seems like I have more projects and work to do than I have time to get them done in. But I found that if you just kind of keep at it and use what free time you have to be productive, you can accomplish a lot. You know, I don't really watch TV. Gave that up a few years ago. And uh, I guess this is my TV now. <laughs> I come in and do chores and work. You know, I grew up on a small farm and uh, it's 
a good way to grow up. There's always something to do. There's always chores. Animals need to be fed in the winter time. You had to break ice and watering troughs and things. Always something to do. And uh, I'll warn you, if you're a new beekeeper, beekeeping is very similar to that. There's, uh, there's just always something that needs to be done. Um, I think that that's a good thing, you know. How many hours do most people waste in a lifetime watching TV? Um, I'd rather be doing this. I will say that I watch quite a few YouTube videos, but I find that those are educational. They teach me how to do things, and I like, to, I like learning how to do things. do something about that hose that thing's annoying it's right in my face I need to put a tether on it or something oh well just another project to add to my list of projects that I don't have enough time for <laughs> I think I'm gonna run out of time on this earth before I run out of things I'd like to get done probably the way it's supposed to be. Ooh, almost got her backwards there. This is the only tricky part of using this jig. Uh, I've got top with an arrow. So you have to make sure that the top part of that D cutout is facing the outside and that the top of it is facing my arrow. I've not put one together backwards yet, but I bet that will happen sooner or later. Especially if I'm here working at you know late at night and I'm tired or whatever. That's when you get goofy and make silly mistakes. There's some end boards. Getting all mixed up on the pallet. Organization is not my strong point. That's uh that would be my wife's department. She's really good at that. work on computers a lot Do a lot of tech kind of stuff and uh, just always have loved working with my hands just something comforting and peaceful about it
when you think about it, each one of these rounds of three boxes is a hive because I'm running triple mediums. So we've got a lot of hives I plan to start out this year. So it really doesn't take that long to make some headway. Just got to keep at it. open this thing up a little bit more glue's cheap boxes aren't especially right now goodness the price of lumber is just going nuts been really impressed with these select grade man lake boxes i got some back in the summer that uh, they ended up not stacking flat they had a gap between the two boxes now, i know that some other people had similar issues and i think they got that fixed i did a video on how i bought these boxes and uh, at the time that i bought mine the difference in select grade and commercial grade on the 100 super tier was like 20 cents per box. It's like a 1110 or 1115 compared to 1135 or something. And uh, so I, I got the select grade, you know, 20 cents a box. You know, you would hope that these will last a little bit longer, be a little easier to assemble. So far I've been really happy with them. I've had some of these before and they've worked quite well. What you doing, girl? Come here. Come here. Good dog. Good girl. You checking on me? Huh? You coming to check on me? See what I'm doing? All right. Got a little bit more work to do, then we'll go home. matter okay okay well i'll be home here just a little bit i'm gonna finish this touch up and then uh i'll be there All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. I just got a phone call that uh, the baby is teething and upset, and my wife needs to get dinner going. <laughs> so <laughs> I've, been, I've officially been summoned home. <laughs> Whenever your wife starts a phone call with, <laughs> things are awful here, <laughs> the baby won't stop crying, uh, it's probably time for you to drop what you're doing and go help. I don't know how many I got. I think I got like 12 supers. 
made, something like that. And either nine or 12, uh, of course, batches of three. So I'll just keep at this. Um, you know, you do three or six or nine here and there, and pretty soon you're done with a, a hundred. Uh, and that chunk of work's over, and then I've just got to get them painted and uh, dried and get frames assembled and foundations put in and, and all that stuff. So until next time.